Hi folks, welcome to WTW Science. It's Dr. G, What the What Science, and today we are tackling a, a very serious uh, situation down in Cape Town. We're all aware of the water crisis down there. You know, it's not about Cape Town or them not having water. It's about our Earth. It's about every one of us becoming part of the solution. So if we can save a few liters of water every single day in and around of our lives, then we actually now become part of that solution. You may have heard of the Ice Bucket Challenge and also the Don't Judge Me Challenge. I'm going to put out a new challenge to you, and that is the Two Minute Shower Challenge. Can we, throughout the world, basically engage or start having a two minute shower? That'll be uh, the first step, maybe. Here's a neat little experiment we could actually learn from and apply, and that will able, enable us to save millions of liters of water every single day. So in these flasks, I have some water in there. I'm just going to throw in some food coloring so that it makes it uh, visible. There we go, in there, and a bit of food coloring in there. I'll just use blue there just to make it exciting as well. Blue is my favorite color, by the way. And there we have that. We have a bit of red in there. And all I want to do now is to take this water and then fill them up into each of these uh, uh, polystyrene cups. So there goes the blue one. It's an empty polystyrene cup, just like that, right to the top. And before filling this cup up, which is identical to that one, I'm going to throw in this apple there. So you know what's going to happen, what the apple's doing. It's just occupying a bit of space in the cup. And fill that up, right to the top like this. And just to give you an idea of the effect of the apple inside that cup, let's just pour out the water from the cup that has no apple in there just to work out the amount of water in that cup and the one that has the apple in it just going to quickly remove that apple and just pour this out carefully into the second container like that and you don't have to be a rocket scientist to realize that the one having the apple immersed in it would have less water compared to the one with no apple now I'm going to use this very simple principle of buoyancy and the Archimedes principle to actually help us save water. This is going to be awesome. Hi folks, we're back and this is probably one of the most important rooms in your life. Uh, it levels the playing ground. Some of you would be sitting on a gold painted toilet seat, some would be levitating in the air, but it just levels the playing ground. So how do we save water? Well, I have a 500 ml bottle full of that with water. Now if you try to remember the experiment we had down there, with the apple displacing the water. Now most people don't think about this because when you flush, it is almost magical as if the water appears and everything happens just like magic. But there is a system in place, right? A whole series of pipes and stuff like this. So we can use some of these bottles in the system itself. This is where all the magic actually takes place. So I already have a 500 ml bottle in there. I'm going to place another 500 ml bottle in there, just like this. So in the next flush, what's going to happen is the water that's going to fill into that cistern is actually going to be one litre less, more or less. So now try to imagine the entire situation out here. With everyone using the toilet between three to five times a day, for some, maybe more, for obvious reasons, we could save up to millions of litres of water per day with this very simple intervention. Right? Go. Hi guys, we're back again and some of you, some of you older folks would remember in the old days, back in the 80s, we would throw in a half a brick into the system just to uh, use the principle of buoyancy to save water. So a couple of 500 ml bottles could save you at least a litre of water every time uh, you flush. Now, let's get back to the two minute shower. Now most of you, it's pretty obvious, you know what, you could have a two minute shower and that could use up more water than a five minute shower. It just depends on the rate at which the water flows. And some of you have some very powerful showers around, I know that. You get hit from the top, the sides and all over that and within two minutes you could use more water than that flowing through the Amazon River. I always feel that the most intimate and the best way of actually taking a bath is using one of these. It's a fail proof design. Right here, you have total control of the volume of water being used. It's a very intimate way of uh, being at one with the water and with your bath. 
But for those who really miss the shower, you can be quite creative and try something like this. And uh, you know what? Having a shower would never be the same. So like this video, subscribe and comment and hopefully we would have a community, we'll have a civilization that's pretty much focused on saving this earth and our future. Thank you very much.